Pompon Gang. And for those who are new to our channel, this is the Pompon Sisters YouTube channel. We're all about natural hair, beauty, and lifestyle. And if you haven't got a clue yet, we are making a dreadlock crochet wig. So I walked into my beauty supply store on my regular daily trip and I found a lace wig cap that is for crochet braids. So immediately my mind got the clicking and I was just like, we got to use this. So I purchased it as well as my hair, which I'll be using the new lock dreadlocks and you will need five packs of these five packs of the new locks by bobby boss and i got the 14 inch which is the shortest length that my beauty supply store carried which is all good because we're going to cut this into a bob because y'all know i love my freaking bobs so we're going to start off with our canvas head and mine's measures at a 24 because i have a rather large head so i um, am going to place the wig cap on there make sure it's nice and fitted and then we are going to begin crocheting the hair in using our crochet needle. Crocheting is pretty self-explanatory, but we will go over just in case there are some newcomers who just aren't familiar with crocheting. For starters, crocheting with any kind of braid or dreadlock um, hair it's not going to be the same as doing it with curly hair so this hair is a lot more textured than the curls that I usually use for crocheting so we don't have to do the multiple tying or anything like that all you really have to do is make sure you get your hair onto the hook pull it through and while the hair is still on the hook go back through put the end inside the hook close it pull it through that tight hole because that hole is very small and then you just pull it uh, straight through, make sure it's nice and tight and it won't go anywhere. Like since it's very textured hair, it is not gonna go anywhere. So I'm going to zoom in for you guys so y'all can see it just a little bit closely and we're also gonna slow it down so you can also see how we are getting these locks on. Also for another tip, when you are putting these crochets on here, we only have five packs. So that is all we are going to use for this wig we're not going to go to the store and think that we ran out because then it'll just look like it's too much hair on the wig so make sure you have plenty of gaps and it's okay if there's like gaps that you can see through um, on the other side of the canvas it's, it's perfectly fine because we're going to add curls to give it that bohemian look and it's also going to help with filling all those gaps on the wig And that is pretty much the gist of it. Like that is just so easy. You're just pulling it through, tying it tight, and it is not gonna move anywhere. So we're gonna go ahead and fast forward through all this because it's just time consuming and repetitive. And by this time you already have your rhythm and groove down, you'll be flying through this part anyway. So um, I'll be just shut up now. Woo, that was a lot of work. So now we're going to move in with the curls. And for the curls, I'm just using a deep twist crochet braiding hair. Um, you can find literally everywhere because it's one of the most popular curls for crocheting hair. So I've had, I had already started putting some of the curls in, but I want y'all to go ahead and see what the look, wig looks like. As you can see, you can still see those gaps, but it's okay, because that's where those curls are gonna go fill it in, make it look nice and full, and you are not gonna be concerned about any gaps by the time we get done with this. 
Now, originally I had cut my deep twist crochet hair in half um, and I shouldn't have because um, it ended up coming up shorter than, like really short, shorter than I wanted it to. So I ended up having to go and luckily I bought a second pack of the crochet hair, but you'll only need one pack and um, you probably won't even use the whole pack because we're just using this to kind of fill in we don't want the curls to overwhelm the dreadlocks where to the point that you don't even see the dreadlocks so my method for curling hair for um tying the crochet hair for curly hair i usually wrap it around two or three times and i i actually tie it like i tie the hair so here i am showing you how i tie the hair to make sure it's secure to the wig and it's not going to go anywhere i'm going to slow it down for you guys so you can get a better look at it All right, so you got it, right? You good? If not, you better rewind because we're fast forwarding through this part as well because it's also repetitive. And by the time you get your rhythm down, you'll be flying through this part anyway. And over the span of 30 seconds, we are done. Look at that wig. It is nice and full. It has all these nice dimensions as far as dreads and curls. Those gaps are nice and filled in. You don't see nothing. You don't see nothing. So for right now, I'm going to try it on because I need to cut it. And I wanna cut it to the length that I know is gonna fall on my shoulders because I want it right at my shoulders. So I still have these old feed in braids that I put in a couple of weeks ago. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. And we are going to place the wig on our hair. And um, I'm not gonna lie, when I first put it on, I was just like, oh no, this doesn't look good. This this doesn't, this is, it doesn't look right. But we finessed it. And you know, plus my face isn't beat. It always helps to beat your face after a new hairstyle because it just takes that look from zero to a hundred, okay? So right now we're gonna go ahead and start trimming away. Really don't have no special technique for cutting. You just grab some hair and clip it sis like it's simple but i knew i wanted it to be kind of long in the front and a little bit shorter in the back kind of like a lob so that's what we're going for and once we are done with that go ahead and slay that face beat that face and let the world know what you made of and you done you good you got a new crochet wig boo